Hi, this is my final vlog for Theater 201. I'm going to be reviewing The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Uh, this film was re released in 1920 and directed by Robert Wiene, uh, who's German. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about the acting and the lighting and how that affects the audience and how we can interpret the movie as uh, dialogue free. So starting off with the acting, it's very exaggerated. They use, uh, the actors use big gestures and large facial expressions to really show what they're feeling and what they're doing so we don't need the words to rely on to um, understand the content. The director focuses a lot on the eyes of the actors, uh, especially Cesari, but they all uh, use their eyes to really tell the story. And um, they the makeup also emphasizes the eyes and they really uh, darken around the eyes so that you can see the fa the expression through the eyes. Uh, an example of this is when Cesari first wakes up and he is staring directly into the camera, uh, into the audience with a very dominant um, uh, sense of... Uh, just dominance, like he's just staring into the audience and you feel it um, through his eyes. So because there is no dialogue, um, the story has to move along in some other way and um, through acting the characters develop and they change throughout the film, which is what happens in every movie, but um, in this one it's very... Uh, important to change through movement and um, so Dr. Caligari uh, he initially started off as hunched over uh, very dark grim and he seemed a little crazy and over the course of the film he gradually um, stands straighter up so you know that he is a good good doctor he has good intentions and he's not um, what he was portrayed to be in the beginning of the movie. Second, I want to talk about lighting. Um, with the lack of dialogue, there has to be some emphasis on what we're supposed to be focusing on and um, what's the importance of that scene. So um, the director draws your attention in through focusing the lighter part of the scene in um, a way so that we are paying attention to that and not what's going on in the background. So an example of this is when Francis asks Jane to marry him. Uh, she and Francis are in the left side of the cor of the uh, frame, and there's stuff going on in the background, but they are the lighter image. So we're supposed to be focusing on that Im conversation, and that is what's important in this scene. So putting that together, the lighting and the acting really can help move a movie along and help the audience understand what we're supposed to get from this movie and what the purpose is and the storyline is a lot easier to follow when we have those emphasizing factors um, because we don't have dialogue so that's my final vlog I had a really good time in this class I learned a lot uh, thank you so much